call hello yahweh bahashem yahweh shah brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah brakata yahweh brakata yahweh shah brakata yahweh bahashem yahweh shah brakata yahweh shah mashiach double understood the apostle it is a great millstone a citation to the akim out here pushing this truth for our sincerity Pieces and blessings to the one third men, women, and children from the lost churches and commitments to the best of their abilities and following the prophets and supporting the prophets. Peace and blessings to the Israelite foreigners scattered on all four corners of the earth with confusion and faces that look that look and speak the different tongues as the other nations, you know. This uh topic that I want to get on is about enduring to the end. Because uh well a lot of what well, you know what I'm saying, majority of people think, you know, when they think uh when you uh start following the lord you know or you start serving the lord they think that it's going to be an easy road you know and you know what i'm saying that's contrary to the scriptures so i'm gonna bring out this first scripture give me a minute This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 2, verse 1. My son, if thou come to serve the Lord Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. You know, that's the first thing uh, you got to prepare yourself for. You know, when you come in to the uh, when you coming into the truth, you know what I'm saying? When the Lord brings you into the truth, man, you know, and you decide to take that right, take that right turn, you know what I'm saying? And what's the right turn? The right turn is the uh the way of righteousness, you know. And you know when you um taking this walk, you know is you gonna have to go through hell, you know, because for one, the Lord is uh is purifying his men, you know. So he basically uh, uh is gonna gonna see us. We gonna uh see if he's is we're gonna endure as good soldiers, you know. Because what the Lord is raising is the uh the the army of David, you know, the tabernacle of the David, may I say. And I'm gonna bring that scripture out. This is the book of uh Amos chapter nine, verse eleven. It says, In that day I will raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof. I will raise up his ruins and I will build it as the days of old. That they may possess the remnant of Edom and all of the heathen, which are called by name, my name, says the Lord Yahweh, that is do with this, you know. So the Lord is uh is raising up the uh, the army of David, you know, the type of the nickel of David. And basically right now, you know what I'm saying, we're going, you know what I'm saying, if you want to talk military wise, we're going through boot camp. Because before you uh because before you you uh go on the battlefield, you gotta go through boot camp to show if you're worthy, you know what I'm saying, you're worthy enough to uh to be in the army, you know, to be in a battlefield. Because this is uh because this is uh not a game that, that uh this is not a game that we're in, you know. This is life or death. You know, because all of the apostles, you know, they were they were crucified, you know what I'm saying, for this truth, you know. And let me bring that uh, scripture in. Well, you know, they were uh but yeah, all the all the uh, apostles, the disciples, they were crucified uh for for speaking this truth, man. And uh because you know we we have became uh enemies because we told the truth lord willing we're part of the elect I may mean, i should say uh -oh, scripture all right this is the uh this is the book of saint john chapter 15 verse 20. remember the word that i said unto you the servant is not greater than his lord if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they 
have kept my saying, they will also kept yours. But the bottom line is, you know what I'm saying, we're going to have to go through the same thing who the world and the call Jesus Christ went through. Now, now on the same scale as him, but we're going to have to go through the same matter. You know, we might end up being mortals for this truth. You know what I'm saying? We might be put to death because of this truth, you know, or Lord willing, you know what I'm saying? We, uh, the Lord turns us immortal, you know what I'm saying? And let us live, you know, but all in all, you know what I'm saying? We're going to have to be persecuted, you know what I'm saying? For this truth, you know what I'm saying? And go through hard times, you know, but we got to endure, you know, and, and keep praising Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because all in all, the Lord is chastising us, you know, and uh, and He chastens the children that He love. You know, let me bring that out. This is the book of uh, Hebrews, chapter twelve, verse six. For whom the Lord Yahweh loveth, he chasteneth, and scourges every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God the Most High dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? You know, so bottom line is, you know what I'm saying, if the Lord loveth uh, you, then He he's going to chasten you, you know. And who he loves, he loves his elect, you know. And if you and if you endure, you know what I'm saying, the chastening, if you the door that the hell that that's being caught, you know what I'm saying, by walking this straight and narrow, uh straight and narrow walking this straight and narrow walk, you know, then the Lord is dealing with you. You know, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is dealing with you. Because all in all, you know. This is this is never no easy walk. You're gonna have to catch hell. You're gonna have demons fucking with you, you know, hopping on your loved ones, you know. It, it it's it's hell, you know. Just just living day by day, you know what I'm saying, walking this walk. Because we're battling the flesh, you know. And that's the harder and that's the uh, hardest battle. Romans chapter 7 verse Slotty, I'm going to start it Slotty That's how the book of Romans chapter 21 and I mean chapter 7 verse 21 if I find then a law that when I will do good evil is present with me for I delight in the law of the most high after the inward man but I see another law in my members warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin, which is in my members. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from the body of this death? I thank the 
I thank the Most High through Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, our Lord. So then, with my mind, I myself serve the law of Yahweh, but my flesh is the law of sin. You know, so this is a, a continuous battle that we go through, man. Uh, the, the flesh against the uh, the spirit, you know, because, because, you know, this flesh, you know what I'm saying, this flesh, you know what I'm saying, desire wickedness, you know what I'm saying, but our our spirit desire righteousness. So we try to our best abilities to, uh, to, uh, to, to follow the righteous, follow, follow the righteousness ways, the righteous ways, you know. And that's the hardest battle to keep, you know. But like the scripture said, you know, a just man follows seven times. Let me bring that scripture out. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 21. I mean, chapter 24, verse 16. For a just man follows seven times and rise up, up again. But he, but the wicked shall fall into mischief you know so the just man you know what i'm saying is going to fall numerous of times but you know what i'm saying he's going to keep getting up just like the uh just like in boxing you know if you ever uh seen uh just like uh in boxing matter of fact let me uh give an example ali you know ali has been not has been knocked down numerous of times you know but he always got back up you know, he never quit. And that was and that was what he was known for, man. That's why he was called the greatest of all time. You know. Because he never gave up. And you can always and you can tell uh the heart of a champion when he's in trouble, man. You know. And it, and when you get knocked down, it's either you gonna be a man and get up, or you gonna you gonna be a coward and Wait till that 10 count is over, you know, but a just man, you know what I'm saying? A man of the, a man, a man of the Lord, you know, Lord willing, I'm part of that let, Lord willing, I can be part of the let, you know, we're going to do it to the end, you know. But with that being said, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the bond of self, I said, hell, this is a great millstone. I hope this, this video was uh, edifying. That shall not.